Hi everyone! Let's now do a simple creative writing activity to help us explore the impacts of pollution in lakes, rivers and oceans on the wildlife that call these parts of the world their home. So let's start by picking an animal. And you can pick any animal that you know lives in or near a river, ocean or lake. Now here are my suggestions for which animal to pick. So you might want to pick a sea turtle or perhaps you'd like to pick an otter that lives by the river, uh, or a seabird that soars over open oceans, or even a whale that glides deep underwater. So you could pick anything you'd like, or a sea turtle, otter, seabird, or a whale. So I've suggested these animals because all of them are affected by all sorts of pollution in rivers, lakes, and oceans. So for example, many of them are uh, affected by plastic pollution. So bottles and crisp packages or food packaging, um, many of them accidentally eat uh, plastic pollution, which affects their health and their growth. Uh, so researchers in the south of England found microplastics in the tummies of every tur uh, sea turtle species in the Atlantic and Pacific Ocean and the Mediterranean Sea. So I, I just wanted to share that with you because this is clearly a very serious issue that's affecting wildlife. Another example is that sea turtles also sometimes get stuck in um, old fishing nets, which, which is also another example of pollution. And when they get stuck, it makes it really difficult for them to swim and to get out. So oil spills also pollute oceans and affect wildlife. So seabirds, for example, have been affected by various oil spills in the past few years. Um, and this happens when oil covers their feathers and it makes it difficult for them to swim and to fly and to protect themselves from the cold. And this is just one example of the impacts of uh, an oil spill in the ocean. Another example is uh, chemicals from farming. So when we grow crops and sometimes farmers might spray spray um, chemicals on, on their crops to, to help them grow, um, these chemicals can find their ways into rivers and, and um, lakes and oceans. And that's also been shown to affect the health of otters that live near rivers. So uh, I've just shared all of this with you to, sh to sort of explore how there are many different ways wildlife are affected by pollution in rivers, oceans and lakes. So just remember this. Um, now let's get creative um, and try and explore how these animals may be feeling with all of this pollution in their homes. Um, so through creativity and writing about their feelings, perhaps we can connect with these animals and when others read our writing, we can support them to connect with these animals so that we can feel more encouraged to protect our oceans, rivers and lakes. Because if we feel like we know these animals and they're, they're our friends or we, we're just really connected, it'll be a lot easier to be able to protect oceans, rivers and lakes. Right, so pick an animal. Um, remember, my suggestion was sea turtle, otter, um, seabird and whale. But you could also pick any animal that you know lives in or near a river, ocean or lake. So pick an animal and really get in the zone. So try and imagine that you are living the life of a sea turtle, an otter, a seabird or a whale. You feel what they feel, you see what they see, you know what they know. So get in the zone, maybe take a moment, close your eyes and really get in the zone. Um, and then answer these three questions. One, how do I feel about the pollution in my home? Two, how does the pollution in my home affect my life? And three, how can humans help me? So um, your teacher will write that on the board or, uh, or in any way to help you remember that. Um, so getting in the zone and answering those three questions. And I just want to say, don't forget to get as creative as possible. So remember, animals they have feelings and they have families you can write about all of this um they you know they grow up they're they're babies and then they become adults so try and think of all of this when you're answering these questions once you're done if you'd like us to share your work uh, ask your teacher to use our uploader form to send it to us uh, and so we'll explain to your teacher how to do this so you don't have to worry about that I hope you come up with some creative and interesting storylines to connect with wildlife affected by pollution Thank you.